He's Kyle Trask. I think he's the leading candidate for the Heisman. Feels like it's his Heisman to lose. And it feels like he's an overnight sensation. Kyle, it took a long time for you to get to this point. If you were going to sum up your high school and college career leading up to this season, how would you do it? Um, you know, I would just say it's been a crazy journey. Um, it's been just a lot of hard work and just persistence and just, you know, trust in the process. And um, at the end of the day, you know, um, I'm glad to be where I am now and I want to have it any other way. Well, you were a backup in high school. D- did you start a game in high school? No, I never started a game in high school. <laughs> okay. So how did, f- <laughs> and then how long did it take before you started your first game in Florida? Uh, well, I almost got my degree at Florida before I even stepped foot on the field. So, I mean, I was going into my uh, – I guess I didn't start until my redshirt junior year. That was last year. How do you explain this, though? That here you are, you've 31 touchdowns, three interceptions. I think you're the leading candidate for the Heisman right now. How do you explain this, Kyle? Um, you know, I just – like I said, I just trusted the process, you know, uh, I was back up for, I don't know, it was six or seven years. But, you know, in my head, I always, you know, knew I was going to get that opportunity. So I kind of just, you know, grinded it out. And I finally got my shot, and I just tried to make the most of it. What did you learn being a backup quarterback? And and you were a backup quarterback to De'Ara King, who's a great quarterback at Miami. Uh, Felipe Franks uh, was there, who I think is now at Arkansas. What did you learn backing these guys up? Um. And obviously, it's very humbling because, you know, you're not getting any attention or anything like that. But And you just kind of have to sit on the sidelines on game day and, and you put in that work all week. But at the same time, it taught me a lot about hard work and, you know, just staying consistent in my preparation because, you know, you, you're a backup. So you, you're always one play away from going in the game. And, you know, if that ever happens, you got to be you know ready to go and just as prepared as a starter. Who was your favorite team growing up? NFL. Um, you know, I grew up in Houston, so I was everything Houston guy. So I was a huge Texans fan growing up. Uh, did you meet JJ Watt or Deshaun Watson yet? Uh, no, um, actually, um, I think somebody won like a raffle to have JJ Watt come to a pep rally in high school. So I actually did get the chance to meet J.J. Watt. He came to our school at like a pep rally. <laughs> I don't know what it was about, but he was just gave us like a 10-minute talk and left. But it was still pretty cool. Could be weird, though. He could be hitting you next season in the NFL. <sighs> One step at a time. I mean, <laughs> that would be pretty cool, though. Have you ever – have you done a Heisman pose with your buddies? No, no. No, nah, um, yeah, like I no, said. no, no, no. I think you just <laughs> lied to me, Kyle. It's okay. I don't blame you for lying, but I can tell that you probably joked around a little bit. Um, I mean, probably, you know, growing up, you know, playing in the backyard, I would hit one. But, you know, as of lately, I'm kind of just focused on, uh, you know, we're, we're really trying to get this uh, national championship. That's our team's main focus. And, you know, we're just trying to take it one game at a time right now. Ah, oh, look at you saying all the right things there. Um, Absolutely. Uh, so this may come down to you against Alabama. You got a few games before that, but you expecting to meet Alabama for the chance to play in the Final Four? Um, you know, obviously, we're, we're not blind to that possibility. Um, you know, if that happens, you know, they're a great team. It's going to be a good challenge for us, and you know, we'll, we'll be ready to go. Well, congrats so far. It's been a pretty good run there, but he's not an overnight sensation. Took him a long time to get to this point. Good luck against Kentucky uh, this weekend, Kyle. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's uh, Kyle Trask, the Florida quarterback. Florida's now 6-1, and and I think it's his Heisman to lose.